of the day and another video welcome back to the channel everybody today we are watching the big bang theory this is the 13th episode of the first season hope you guys have been enjoying it so far if you like to watch today's full episode it is available for in the link in the description below just clicking it put the password in and enjoy so last episode it was about sheldon pretty much going head to head with a 15 year old you know this kid come from korea he was looking to join their company basically he's the youngest recipient of an award that sheldon thought he was the holder of he attained it when he was 14 years old and this kid actually beat it and he's basically touring him around the building trying to get him to join the company to help them out because obviously like i said he's really smart at such a young age now sheldon he's kind of spiraled you know he's basically like look mate if this kid's smarter then what's my purpose you know what i mean like i've been fighting and striving towards these goals and now it's just going to be overshadowed by this little kid i think he needs a new career path he tried to annoy leonard howard and raj you know basically trying to join their departments and giving them advice um they all told him to get away you know basically they decided look mate we actually just need to get this kid out of our lives you know get him away from this uh work and basically their idea was to hook him up with a girlfriend and basically deter his um kind of like vision from science to females and that's what they actually did you know they threw um i bring your daughter to work day <laughs> uh event you know all these girls come in he ended up actually meeting one and then ever since that actually happened he spiraled out of control you know he's ended up drinking sitting away and not even joining it and not even fulfilling his path and pretty much let sheldon rejoin his company you know no remorse whatsoever on what they've done to him and ruining his life and now he's back on top being the same old sheldon instead of this uh sad depressed you know going around annoying everybody one of himself well to be honest he annoys everybody on the daily which is kind of like the comical side of his character so i'm interested to see what we have in store for us today thanks for checking it out if you do enjoy it please smash the like really helps out subscribe if you're new and as always let's jump into today's episode <laughs> details about the new star trek film there's going to be a scene depicting spock's birth it's an extremely private matter still i'd like to know the details his mother was human his father was vulcan they couldn't just conceive maybe they had to go to a clinic Can you imagine spock's dad in a little room with a copy of pointy ears and shapely rears <laughs> hi can you help me i was writing an email and the a key got stuck now it's just going ah gentlemen switching to local nerd news Fishman, Chen, Chowdhury, and McNair aren't fielding a team in the University Physics Bowl this year. This guy's out. The entire Physics Bowl will kneel before Zod. Zod? Kryptonian villain. Long story. Good story. Oh. Well, count me out. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> you want me to use my intelligence in a tawdry competition? Would you ask Picasso to play Pictionary? Sheldon, what? Do I need to quote Spock's dying words to you? No, don't. <laughs> The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few or the one. <laughs> um, the thing is, right, Sheldon is usually the, the person that's always kind of the one restricting everybody else from doing things. You know what I mean? Like, if he didn't go through with it in today's episode, I feel like this would have been the third time that they needed him collectively to do something and obviously step back and said, no, I don't want to. But obviously he's joined it today, so that's totally fine. The truly kick-ass team name. Suggestions? How about the Perpetual Motion Squad? It's beyond the laws of physics, plus a little heads up for the ladies. Put it to a vote. All those in favor... Point of order. I move that any vote on team names must be unanimous. No man should be forced to emblazon his chest with a Bengal tiger when common sense dictates it should be an army ant. After we go through the exercise of an annoying series of votes, all of which the gentleman will lose, does he then intend to threaten to quit if he does not get his way? He does. I move we are the army ants. All those in favor... <laughs> You know, it's none of my business, but isn't a guy who can't speak in front of women gonna hold you back a little? Oh, he'll be okay once the women are mixed into the crowd. He only has a problem when they're one-on-one -on -one and smell nice. Quantum mechanical effect used to encode data on hard disk drives. Powered. And of course, the answer is giant magneto resistance. Right. Don't you think I should answer the engineering questions? I am an engineer. And by that logic, I should answer all the anthropology questions because I'm a mammal. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is all right it's it should just be whoever's fast enough to press the button you know what i mean it's basically like a show that we have in the uk called the chase you know basically they ask questions buzz in say the answer buzz in say the answer and then obviously the money stacks up now you might know it but if your teammate comes in and gets it wrong that's just the way it is isn't it you have to let somebody else answer why because it's polite what do manners have to do with it this is war. Some of us might have the correct answers, too. Oh, please, you don't even have a PhD. All right, that's it. Howard, sit down. Okay. Leonard, excellent. I want to show you something. 
Lieutenant Wade, I need to talk to you. Just look, I've designed the perfect uniforms for our team. They say AA. Army ants. I got you a Batman cookie jar. Oh, neat. <laughs> What's the occasion? Well, they're off the team. <laughs> Howard, Raj, and I just had a team meeting. No, you didn't. Couldn't have been a team meeting because I'm on the team and I wasn't there. Ergo, the team did not meet. Because you're taking all the fun out of it. Well, at this point, I should inform you that I intend to form my own team and destroy the molecular bonds that bind your very matter together and reduce the resulting particulate chaos to tears. How do you get to be on his team? He won't say. He just smiles and eats macaroons out of his bat jar. We're gonna need a strong fourth for our team. You know who's apparently very smart is the girl who played TV's Blossom. Gentlemen, I believe I've found the solution to all our problems. Oh, she is smart, ain't she? Ask Leslie Winkle. Why? Because you slept together and when she was done with you, she discarded you like last night's chutney? Yes. <laughs> Leslie, I have a question for you, and it might be a little awkward, you know, given that I... Hit that thing. We are entering the physics bowl, and we need a fourth for our team. No, thanks. I'm really busy with my like sign to left on supersymmetry search. Die left on my left on. We need you. Sorry. Just have to face Sheldon mono e mono e mono. Amano. He's gonna go now. Because you know Sheldon's there. Uh... Against Sheldon Cooper, Texas doorknob that told me I should abandon my work with high energy particles for laundry and childbearing. <laughs> it sounds like Sheldon. She's in. I think it's right. I actually like her, and I, I've said it before, but I feel like the show is just missing maybe one more female character. Do you know what I mean? The dips in that we've had of the females have been good. The episode she's been in, the parents that have come in as well. Do you know what I mean? Like, they've been entertaining. I just feel like one more female to the cast would be great. And I can't wait for them to proceed in relationships, to be honest, because that usually happens. As the shows get more popular, more characters come in, and obviously it gets better that way. Sheldon, I'd be interested to see who he gets on his team, even if he even has a team. He might just get three randos because he thinks that he can answer all of the questions. And I've got to say, again, just I've not said it before, but I like the fact that they wear the same clothes for me. Like, he's wore that Green Lantern's top at least two times or three times in the 13 episodes. And it makes sense. Like, it does make sense, you know. You're not going to have a new top every single day. For the whole 200 odd episodes or whatever this has got. Do you know what I mean? I just think it's good that you recycle clothes. It's normal. You do that in life. <laughs> hey, he doesn't like Star Trek. Gentlemen. Sheldon. Sheldon. <laughs> Is that your team? Actually, I don't need a team. I, could I knew that he'd do that on his own. Yeah. But the rules require four. So, may I introduce the third floor janitor? The lady from the lunchroom, and my Spanish is not good, either her son or her butcher. Leslie Winkle, the answer to the question, who made Sheldon Cooper cry like a little girl? I'm polymerized tree sap, and you're an inorganic adhesive, so whatever verbal projectile you launch in my direction is reflected off of me, returns on its original trajectory, and adheres to you. <laughs> uh, oh, ouch. PMS. PMS? It, it stands for Perpetual Motion Squad. Oh, right, of course. What was I thinking? AA versus PMS. All night long, y'all. <laughs> Ten points. What is the lightest element on Earth with no stable isotope? AA. And, of course, the answer is technetium. Terrific. <laughs> 4.1855 times 10 to the seventh ergs per calorie. Prevost theory of exchanges. Lambda equals 1 over pi r squared n. 760 degrees Celsius, the approximate temperature of the young lady in the front row. The score now stands. AA, 1150. PMS, 1175. So, I like one of the reds are going to press it. points and the match. Please turn your attention to the formula on the screens. PMS. 27. Sorry, I panicked. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Eight. Point four. If you can answer correctly, the match is yours. <laughs> AA, I need your answer. Answer it is minus eight pi alpha. Hang on, hang on a second. That's not our answer. What are you doing? But our arrangement was that you sit here and not say anything. I answer the question. He's got it right. You didn't answer the question. Hey, look. Now, maybe you have democracy now in your beloved Russia, but on this physics bowl team, I rule with an iron fist. I need your official answer. No, I declined to provide one. Well, that's too bad because the answer your teammate gave was correct. <laughs> that 
that's your opinion? Proving that you are single-handedly smarter than everyone else, so important that you would rather lose by yourself than win as part of a team? Man, I was about to say that myself. I didn't understand the question. The winner is PMF! I was literally about to say, would the moral of the story not just be that teamwork is obviously better than soul work? You know what I mean? Like, working as a team, it obviously get you progressively further, and it shows that he should have stuck around and been with his friends originally, where they could actually go forward and win it as a team, than be, obviously, self dependent and selfish you know what i mean like I, I, the whole thing with that was that was the moral of the story but he also didn't grasp it and he also which i never understand that doesn't make sense is he knew that if he didn't provide an answer he would have lost so like being that stubborn that you don't know the answer and you wouldn't take anything off anything else you know what i mean you're just accepting that the other teams beat you at least you either give one and just make something up or you let somebody else answer it for you do you know what i mean you don't just sit there and basically do nothing because obviously just throw himself under the bus like he's just done and just lost because obviously he didn't want a teamwork so again like i said moral of the story stick with your friends it's better than being on your own sorry somebody's sitting there who my physics ball trophy <laughs> sheldon who all right that is very immature you're right i'm sorry i'm not <laughs> I am settling once and for all, who is the smartest around here? Sammy Hagar replaced David Lee Roth as the lead singer in what group? They're book smart, not live smart. <laughs> Van Halen. Tweety Bird taught he taught a what? Romulan. He taught he taught a Romulan. <laughs> do you know what right i've experienced this in life in like many times in my profession in terms of i work in the construction and like people who come into construction who have been into university and come straight green from being in a book to being in a real life on-site scenario working with people just don't get it like do you know what i mean like they're book smart. They're not life smart. So, like, obviously, she was just using the references there, basically saying that. I know all these things because go outside and speak to people. But it does show, like, there's people who get a degree and all they know is what the book says. And in reality, it's that's not how it goes. It's not how it plays out. Do you know what I mean? And it's interesting to see that in actual real life, how people are just so one-dimensional and think, well, the book says this and this is the way it goes. And it's like, no, actually, in reality, you know, you got to factor in different things, different people, different personalities, you know what I mean? Just the environments that you're in. The book can say one thing and it can lead you in a good path in the direction, but you got to assess the situation around and the scenarios in real life. And obviously, there is two different sides of it. There's street smart and there's book smart. And Clearly, they know nothing about the normal, everyday kind of human, but know everything in terms of all the science that they can get there. So, I mean, it's interesting that. And basically, you know, I was talking about there, about Sheldon not wanting to be a team, kind of, and, like, you know, being himself and trying to go against him. And the moral of the story is you work better together. And if you look at the end of the episode, they ended with them two kind of, well, getting all the questions wrong, but kind of, like, giving himself, like, a fist bump, as if to say, yes, we worked as a team. So, do you know what I mean? It is the truth. It is the moral of the story that working with a team, working with your friends is much better than working on your own. Okay, that is going to wrap up today's episode. Thanks so much for checking out the channel today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And again, do you know what I mean? Like, this episode, Sheldon went against his friends. But this time, I don't know, it's a bit more interesting. I thought, like, last time, you know, when he went against, um, you know, Leonard, basically, he wanted to do the presentation and he didn't want to. I thought he was being a bit selfish, if I'm being totally honest. But in today's episode, I don't know, he's being selfish, but in the true Sheldon way, in terms of, like, it was just, like, I'm smarter than everybody else. And, um, and I don't know, he just, I feel like in today's episode, that just fits Sheldon's character consistently. It does feel like he's better than everybody else, and it's not hidden. It's not just a new thing. It's always consistently said, and obviously stuck by it today. He's gone in there, said, look, mate, I don't need a team. I can do this myself. I can go in. I can beat everybody. Now, again, though, like I said, it was a good moral to the story, to be honest. You know, no matter how smart you are, it's always good to have a friend. you got a friend in me, basically. He could have used his team and obviously won this bowl, and he wouldn't obviously have to compete against each other. But it did give... Um, you know, it did give a good bit of entertainment in the episode in terms of, obviously, you know, the teams, the costumes going against each other. And like I said, I feel like the moral of the story was good as well. And the main thing I took from it is when you're down and you don't know something and somebody steps in and gives you an answer, you know what I mean? Take it. Put your trust in somebody. Because he could have won that. He could have took the points off um you know howard and leonard and raj and obviously been victorious on himself and he decided to stick with it 
not answer it and basically lose trying to stay on his high horse basically and then um he lost i like how leonard was rubbing it in his face when he got to the apartment and basically we ended as a team again trying to answer questions with penna none of them got it right but it looked like they squashed it and he was obviously having a good time so like i said mate you know good moral of the story work with your friends work as a team and you'll always have somebody there so i'd love to see it thanks for checking out today's episode hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did please smash the like really helps out subscribe if you're new and as always i'll catch you in the next one Cheers, guys.